discussed in the last episode, this episode I am going to make a ball. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully teach you how to make one as well. Um, this was a ball I threw together kind of on my lunch break today. I missed stitches. I lost count. I can't tell you how many times. Uh, but as you can see, it still looks like a ball. Um, these are actually, they make great toys for dogs. Um, but you can also make, you know, dolls, things like that. Again, I'm using uh, the blue color because it shows up easier. But um, let's get started. All right. To begin with, of course, you're going to need a slip knot. Always need the slip knot. Okay. Uh, and I'm using, again, a 5 millimeter hook. Create my tension. And we're ready to begin. Okay, so to begin with a ball, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And, uh, you know, I kind of have a lazy way of doing these. So uh, if you find a better way, definitely do it the better way. Uh, I'm horrible with the counting uh, of the stitches. So um, I will try my best to make sure that... Uh, I, I keep counting along the way, but I've got my three stitches now. So we're going to go into our first chain stitch right here. Grab the yarn, pull it through, and then we're going to pull it through the last loop as well. So now we have effectively a tiny circle here. Okay, now in our little circle, we're going to go in through the middle, the very center of it going to grab yarn and do a single crochet. Now in total we want nine single crochets to go around. So there's one, two, three, four, five, get the tail out of the way, Six, seven, to get a little space there, you can kind of push it down to make room. Eight, and nine. Okay, now we should be fairly close to the first <coughs> crochet stitch we made. Now, from here, we're going to do two single crochet in each chain space for a total of 18. So I'm going to go in this first one. It's always hard to get. Go into the top two. Grab the yarn. Pull it through. There's one and two into the same chain space. Two. Now go into the next one for three and four. Into the next one for five and six. Next space, seven and eight. Next space, nine and ten. <clears throat> Next space, eleven and twelve. <clears throat> Thirteen. And 14, 15, and 16, uh, 17, and 18. And again, we should be back to the beginning of our stitches. Now, we're going to do one single crochet in each chain space to go around for a total of 18 again. So, 
one in each one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And the tail, it likes to get tangled up there, so you may have to adjust that. And if you pull on it, it actually tightens up that center, so it's not so obvious. Okay, so now we've done 18 single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so now is a good time to start to use our stitch marker. This uh, actually comes in handy so we can tell where the beginning and the end of each round is. So I'm going to place my stitch marker, go into the next one. We're going to do a single crochet in that uh, the first stitch, a single crochet in the second stitch, and then in the third stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. Got one and two. And again, so we go single crochet, single crochet, and then two single crochets in that third stitch. One and two. And again, single crochet, single crochet, and two single crochets in that third stitch. Single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. Next stitch. We do single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. Now, if your count is off, um, if it doesn't look like it's matching up right, that's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, I missed stitches in here. I've lost count uh, several times on this one. And you see, it still looks like a ball. So, Again, single crochet, single crochet, and two single crochets in the same stitch. And we should be back to the beginning of the round as indicated by where we marked. So I'm going to pull this out, place the stitch marker again. Now this time we're going to do three single crochets in the first three stitches and then a double crochet in the fourth. So go, let's get in there. One, two, three, and two single crochets. And we do this all the way around. One, two, three, and two single crochets. One, 
two, three, and then two single crochets. Two single crochets. One, two, three, and two <coughs> single crochets. Move my stitch marker. Now this time we are going to do uh, four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then again two single crochets in the same chain space. And again. single crochet. Two, three, four, and two. Single crochet in the same chain space. One, two, three. Four and two single crochet in the same chain space. And one, two, three, four, and again two single crochet in the same chain space to complete that round. Okay, so now at this point we have kind of like a little oval, uh, not oval, but I guess a little concaved space. We're going to remove our stitch marker and put it back. Now, we need to do six more rounds without any increases or decreases. So, uh, and it's just one single crochet in each chain space until you get back to your marker. And like I said, uh, I'm very lazy about counting because I'll start thinking about something while I'm crocheting or um, you know, my grocery list will start running through my head and I'll miscount. So the, the markers really help me when I'm doing a, uh, uh, a project like this. Uh, I have a crochet app that is in the works that will help me with the counting on my phone because I'm terrible at it. Um, and as soon as that gets released, I will uh, definitely let you know because uh, I think it would be helpful to have something along those lines. Um, and it, it'll be a free app once it is developed. But uh, until then, we've got our stitch markers. So 
So just about done with my first round without the increases or decreases. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm sure that you don't want to sit here and watch me do uh, round after round, is after I get past this first round and adjust my marker, I'm going to uh, stop the video and resume it once I hit the end of that sixth one. So you want to do a total of six rounds without increases or decreases. Okay, so there's the first one is complete. I move my stitch marker up. I start on my second round of the six and move on from there. And I'll, I'll meet you back here once I get to my sixth round. 